and Joaquin crosses it. Anybody there? Henry with a header and Tim Weiss with an amazing double save, keeping Portsmouth in the game. What's going on guys? My name is Adam, I am a super swan, and welcome to episode 48 of Project Pompey. It's a new season as we lock to defend our Premier League title, and it's now the year 2010 to 2011, as we did start in 0304. Seven seasons in, I think we're just about there to win our Champions League trophy, which is the aim of this series. We will be opening today with a community shield against Arsenal, along with our first league game of the season against Manchester City. Transfers, transfers, transfers. It's been a very busy window and we're not even done. We still have a week to go before the window closes and I'm still doing deals to bring people into the club. But I am going to skip ahead to the screen because I don't want to give away spoilers because we are still looking to make some transfer deals. So I'll show you the transfers page. Here we go, transfers page, and we'll talk about the outs first of all, as Morton Gams Pedersen did go out to Monaco for £20 million. We bought him in for cheap, we sold him on for high. He wasn't really getting into the team anymore, there was a lot of players ahead of him in the pecking order, but for when we brought him in, he was a fantastic servant for the club. He was with us for four seasons, scored eight goals, three goals, zero goals, and he only played 15 games in his last season, a lot of them off the bench, but he did grab a 7.02 average rating. So he did make a healthy 15 mil profit on him. It was sad to see him go. A bunch of low knees, but Yaya Torre's gone to Arsenal for £41.5 million. Again, he just wasn't getting into the team much anymore with a lot of players ahead of him in the pecking order. Arsenal made a bit of a stupid bid, so I accepted it. So 41.5 mil, Yaya Torre's gone. We got him in on a free transfer. He was with us for five seasons, and he was definitely a player that improved us when we got him in the team. So again, Yaya Torre has moved on to Arsenal, who we will be playing today. We did sell Juan de Sampdoria for 3.8 mil. Might not be the most in the world, but it was his wages that I wanted to get off the box. I uh, very silly put in a match highest dealer clause when we brought him in. And, uh, you know, I couldn't afford paying him 170 grand a week. He just wasn't that good of a player to be put on that wage. So we did get rid of him on the cheap out to Sampdoria. Van Pierce has gone out on loan again. It is his last year of his contract and he's not happy that we loaned him out. So we unfortunately might lose him out on a free come the summer. But I will try and tie him down to get some money out of him. He just isn't, you know, he's, he's striker's the only role he can play now. And we've got a lot of good strikers now. Leach has gone out on loan. Fellows on loan. Moutinho has gone out on loan. We have brought in Manuel Neuer for 7.5 mil. And we've loaned him out to Munt 1860 Munchen for the next two seasons. I want him to develop his game and become the beast that he is in real life to come back to the club and be our number one goalkeeper. That means we can let Petr Cech go and have Neuer and Tim Weiss as our goalkeepers. We might not even get to use him. We've got two seasons to win the Champions League and then Manuel Neuer will come in to Portsmouth. Five-star potential and obviously he's going to be a beast when he comes in. Yakubu's gone to Real Sociedad for £2 million. This was a sad transfer. Again, he dropped right down the peck in order. He didn't get much game time with four strikers ahead of him and Van Persie ahead of him. Fat Yakubu was an original player at Portsmouth and he did the damage whilst he was with us in the seasons that we had in this save. He's been with us for, what, six years, one of them out on loan to Dynamo Kiev. 12 goals, 22 goals, 13 goals, 13 goals. He was always a goal scorer. But he just couldn't keep up the pace of the players that we were getting in. So Yakubu, one of the original Portsmouth players, sad to see him go. But he will be going out to Real Sociedad to be a starter. So fingers crossed he does well and bangs in the goals there. Luka Modric has left the club as well. He's gone to Juventus for £64 million. He kicked up a fuss. He absolutely threw his toys at the pram. And I thought to myself... We are a big club now. We are a Premier League winning team. We can bring in any world-class midfielder we want. 
So he did let Modric go, and we have brought in a very good replacement for him. So again, you know, we brought him in for, what was it, 20 mil? Yeah, 21 and a half mil. Three seasons we got out of him. You know, he did moan for most of that, wanted to go to a bigger club. But he's got his wish, he's got out to Juventus, and it will be sad to see him go. But we've got a lot of money for him, so that's really, really good. So now we talk about the ins. We've brought in Diego from Deportivo La Coruña for £44 million. He's a a four-and-a-half star current ability, uh, attacking midfielder. Him and Messi will be fighting for that position, and he's got greens all over the place. Only 24 years old, 18 dribbling, 18 technique, 18 flair, 18 agility. Him and Messi are going to be very good in that attacking midfield role. They'll probably swap in and out between them. But we have got our sort of, not backup, but our rotation option in the attacking midfield position. We have strengthened the defence with two centre-back sign-ins. Andre Bahia from Dortmund for 19.25 mil. Brazilian international, four-star current ability, four-and-a-half star potential. He did have a release clause of 19 mil at Dortmund. And I took advantage of it as quick as I could. He's going to be taking Wan's place in the team. He's actually got less money than Wan was. But he's a much better player. Four-star current ability. He's only 25. So there's room for improvement for him. We did pick up a rotation option in Philippe Senderos as well. For 13.75 mil from Arsenal. He does class as homegrown. As he is homegrown in the nation. And he's a pretty solid option. Three and a half star current ability, four star potential. He's got all the stats we need. 17 heading, 17 marking. A lot of good stats there. Again, he's pretty much a rotation option at centre back. Our head of youth development brought in a new gen for us in Martin Montiel for three million. We won't be seeing him much. He'll be sitting in the under 23s. Five star potential. We're going to try and turn him into a right back. We also we don't have a work permit for him, so that's come back to bite us in the past, but we've brought him in. We've already talked about Manuel Neuer. We got him in for 7.5 mil, bargain for him. And this is the Modric replacement, Raphael van der Vaart, for £44 million from Newcastle. Very surprised they let him come to us, to be fair. He was their best player last season, and he's going to be the deep lion playmaker for the years ahead. Four and a half star current ability, five star potential, 26 years old. As you can see, the greens across the board, and he's a, probably a better player than Luka Modric. We have signed a backup right back as well in Aaron Pego from Celta Vigo for 39.5 mil. He is a new gen. You know, 40 mil is a bit expensive for a backup, but him and Lam, I think, are going to rotate at right back to keep them fresh. Injured at the moment, but he's only out for a week, so I don't think we'll be seeing him today. But he is a very solid right back. Cap for Brazil already at 21 years old. And he's worth 40.5 million pounds. So that's the business at the moment. I am bringing some deals in. And there's one massive player that could be coming into the club. And there's two players that could be leaving as well. So I'm not going to reveal who they are. You might be able to work them out by the squad statuses. But that's the lay of the land. That's where we are before we go in to the Community Shield. I am conscious of time, so we're going to go straight into the Community Shield against Arsenal. And this is going to be the lineup for that game. We've got Tim Weiss in goal, Taylor, Bahia, Senderos and Lam at the back. Harry De Groot back on loan. I'll show you him off because he's now a three and a half star player, four star potential. He's almost like a new player. We've had him for like three years, but he's been gone out on loan. He's got his experience. And now he does look like to be a solid rotation option in the midfield. Van der Vaart and Fontaine make up the midfield. Diego makes his debut. Borjanov and Kesman start up front. And that is the sign we're going to put out there. I mean, the Community Shield, it's a glorified pre-season game, essentially. I mean, I'm not too fussed by it, but I would like to win it. So I'm going to give a, a passionate... The fans have been fantastic! And they don't really care. But we'll tell them I have faith in them. And uh, that normally gets the job done. So in the last episode we were at Wembley for the FA Cup final against Arsenal. And now we're at Wembley for the FA Community Shield. The curtain raiser for the season. The Premier League winners Portsmouth and the FA Cup winners take on league runners-up Arsenal. 
are we going to win our third trophy in two episodes? Throw in from Arsenal. Van der Vaart clears it away as far as Nick Alloway, the Portsmouth rebel, the guy who left us when he was 17. But Bistoke takes a shot, Tim Weiss with a save. Nick Alloway, the man who got away, our first five-star potential youth intake, and he jumped ship to Arsenal. Well, forget about the fact I forgot to give him a contract, but he jumped ship to Arsenal. But Joaquin to Bastuck. He's going to cross it, he does. Reyes going to try and chase it. Look at the stats. Portsmouth have had the possession. But Bastuck back to Reyes. But Van der Vaart clears it away to Kesman. Are oh, Portsmouth going to counter-attack? Kesman comes inside. Is Borzhinov making the run? He beats the man. He does try to find Borzhinov. But it was a bit of a poor pass. Didn't really amount to anything. 36 minutes. Matty Taylor finds Raphael Van der Vaart. The new sign in the Modric replacement. Diego to Larm. Loads of space on the right-hand side. Tries to cross it. Is blocked, though. And Arsenal do clear away. But Reyes now on the counter for Arsenal. It's end-to-end -end stuff here at Wembley. And Joaquin crosses it. Anybody there? Henry with a header. And Tim Weiss with an amazing double save. Keeping Portsmouth in the game. As we do get a corner. Taylor headed away again. Arsenal seem to be playing a lot on the counter. But we are going to win this ball. Well, we did win the ball. Philippe Long with a poor header. And Thierry Henry in the box. And Tim Weiss again with the save. It's Portsmouth with a possession. But Arsenal are on the counter-attack. They're the ones that look more likely to score. Coming up to half-time. Six minutes to go. De Jong deflected. That'll be a corner. And it looks to be all Arsenal at the moment. I mean, it is just the community shield. Let's not get carried away by this. But I would like to win as much silverware as we can before we get that eventual Champions League win. But Kesman tries to find Fontaine. He does. Can we score from here? Blocked. Philippe Blom again crosses it. And it's a save by Pletikosa. Doesn't come into much, really. The highlight's not really anything major. But Van der Vaart with a free kick off the post. And that is the closest the Portsmouth have come to grabbing a goal in the Community Shield as we will go into half-time together. And uh, I think Arsenal have probably been the better side. I think it's safe to say that Arsenal have played on the counter-attack a bit. So I'm going to give a bit of a aggressive far from please from what I just saw on this team. And I think what we'll do is we'll bring off Bozhinov as he's on a 6.4. We'll bring Suarez on, and speaking of Suarez, he is kicking up a bit of a fuss that Liverpool won't come in for him. But why would you want to go to Liverpool when you've just won the league of Portsmouth? Doesn't make sense to me. But Suarez is going to come on. I think we'll bring off Van der Vaart as well. And only because he's on 70, what, 81%. And we'll bring on Hamshik. Maybe move them around a little bit. Does that work? Yeah, that'll work. So double swap. Hampshire comes on, as does Suarez. It's been all Arsenal so far. But can Portsmouth grab a goal and win the Community Shield? 46 minutes just after the break. And Senderos on the ball. The new signing from Arsenal. But Larm comes inside. Long ball to Matty Taylor. Switching the flanks. Anybody there? Suarez is going to chase it. Our best goal scorer last year. Finds De Groot. Crosses for Kesman. Unlucky. He was just blocked on the line. And Henri now. He's on goal. And Andre Bahia is going to clear his lines. 50 minutes. Another highlight in the second half. I think we've started a little bit better than we did in the first. Matty Taylor with a shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we're getting closer. We're getting closer. As we do get a highlight straight away after. Wayne Bridge. Plays it to Reyes. A lot of highlights in this game. Wayne Bridge now again for Arsenal in the box. And Henri puts it wide. That was an open goal. 59 minutes. Coming up to the hour mark. Long clears it away to Diego. The new sign-in. Is he going to try and find the strikers making the run? He does. Finds Suarez in the box. Takes a touch and buries it in the goal. And that is the first goal of the season. Diego linking up with Luis Suarez. And Suarez already got a goal in the Community Shield. 
I mean, Arsenal will be a bit gutted they've conceded here, as I'd say they've been the better side. But second off, we've been a bit of a different team, and Suarez puts it away as his Portsmouth 1, Arsenal 0. Corner, Matty Taylor, 71 minutes. It's clean away as far as Diego! And Diego scores goal number two for Portsmouth. He scored on his debut. And that's going to put us 2-0 up in the Community Shield. We have played much better in the second half. Yobo clears it. But Diego with a long shot. And now it's Portsmouth 2. Arsenal 0. 79 minutes. Tim Weiss from the back. We've got 10 minutes to go. We might see Portsmouth lift another trophy in this series. But it's a poor ball for Hamshek. Diego to Kesman. Tries to play in. Who's it? Philippe Law, maybe. But Reyes is going to win that ball for Arsenal. And they're going to play again from the back. It's been end-to-end -end stuff in this game. Both sides have looked threatening. But Portsmouth have been the team to take their chances. McFadden finds Joaquin. He's got a bit of room. Players are there. McFadden's there, though. And Arsenal have got to go back. Ten minutes to go. It's a squeaky bum time now for Portsmouth. As we do go into this 2-1 up. There was a load of players there Arsenal could have used. But it's James McFadden who puts it away. And it's now Portsmouth 2. Arsenal 1. We'll make some changes I think. Because we need to uh, sit back a bit now and defend our lead. But who's looking a bit tired out there? Philippe Lahm. It's a shame that Aaron Pego is injured. Because I'd love to have brought him on as a sub. But anybody else looking a bit tired out there? Not really. And I've not really got... Fu it's full-backs that are the most tired. But I think what we'll do is we'll move Diego back here. We'll swap Diego and Fontaine around. We'll do a bit of juggling in the team. I think Fontaine will come off. We'll bring on... We'll bring on Nangolan to play DM. Because why not? And I think we'll go a bit more cautious. We're going to try and defend our lead. Time waste frequently. We're going to regroup, hold shape. We're basically going to park the bus. And just keep it between ourselves. And we're going to bring the defensive line a lot lower back. To try and maintain our lead. So we're going defensive to hold on to the community shield. Coming up to full time. I think the defensive tactic has worked. As we are now, what, five seconds away from another trophy in the trophy cabinet. As Portsmouth lift the community shield against Arsenal. Very back and forth between both teams. Both teams could have won it. But it is Portsmouth who lift that trophy. It is a pre-season game. But a trophy's nice, isn't it? It's nice to lift the trophy at the start of the season. So I'm going to say congratulations. We've started off the season as we intend to. As we do get a 2-1 victory over Arsenal. Portsmouth left community shield. Diego made his debut. We're celebrating success. And we're going to praise Diego. A very good debut for him on, well, at Wembley, really. So I think we'll go forward to the Man City game. The first game of the Premier League season. And wrap up our summer transfer business. £160 million was involved on transfer deadline day. And I'll show you the ins and the outs. So the outs. We let Valerie Bozhnov go to Man City for £20 million. Mainly because of the in that we are bringing in. So £20 million for Bozhnov. He was our fourth choice. I think it's safe to say. He had a pretty good career with us to be fair. I mean he scored what? Six goals? 11 goals? He was never really that prolific. But we did make a nice healthy profit on Bozhnov. A very surprising offer, one that I didn't anticipate, was a £40 million offer for Nangolan. Now, he never played for us, really. He had one game on camera, I think, so we let him go for £40 mil. So there we are, we've, we've let him go for £40 million. Pounds. So, Roger Nangolan, we brought him in for 195 k we sold him for £37 million. Pound. Never really played a game for us. But there we are, man. Said you could enjoy him. And Patrick Kisnova went to Newcastle for, in the end for £57 million. Pounds. I mean, he was a very good player for us. Again, he was more backup than anything. But I can't help but turn down a £57 million pound offer from Newcastle. So we did make a nice £110 million pound on deadline day. 
which we used to bring in Chavi on known from Newcastle. He went, I'm not sure why he's at Newcastle, but three-star current ability Chavi. He's going to be a backup in our midfield, can play in numerous different positions. We've brought in a Alex Adres a, a Bowley, our head of youth development, brought him in. Not really sure why. Two-star current ability, three-star potential, but, you know, I'll let my head of youth development bring him in. And then the big one, Gonzalo Higuain from River Plate for £40 million. He's a five-star striker, which means that we've got four very good strikers at the club. Suarez, Kesman, Higuain, and our Brazilian wonder kid, Gomez. So I think our strike force is going to be very good this year. And with a five-star striker and Gonzalo Higuain, what could go wrong? So for the first game of the season, this is going to be the lineup. We have got Petr Cech in goal. Matty Taylor, Bahia, Di Michalis and Lahm at the back. Fontaine, Nolan and Parker in the middle. And Sir Van der Vaart is suspended for three games. Messi, Higuain and Suarez up front. What a strike force that is. And hopefully we can get the job done against Manchester City. So first game of the season, our first game to defend our Premier League title. Nangola is in the team for this game. Borjinov on the bench, but then they've got like four strikers on the bench. Borjinov, Vassell, Anelka and John Carew all on the bench for Man City. So they stockpiling strikers at the moment. So I'm going to give a, an assertive, I'm expecting a win today. Tell them I have faith in them to make the difference. And that should be enough to get the job done. So it is the first game of our title defence away from home against Manchester City. A few new signings in there, along with Gonzalo Higuain. Will he make a factor in today's game? Free kick from Messi, 20 minutes in. The first high of the game, but he heads it to Parker. And it's 1-0 to Portsmouth. And two new signings linking up together. Well, one new signing, but he is the new signing. But Messi to the centre-back. Find Scotty Parker. Free kick whipped into the box. But he heads it over to Parker. And it's a simple tap in for him. And it is Portsmouth 1. Man City 0. 36 minutes. Throw in from Matty Taylor. Loses the ball. It's into the box to Benzia. And it's 1-1. One, one. And it's just as quick as we get the lead. Man City have pulled it back. Two quick highlights. Two goals. One for either side. Matty Taylor tries to find Fontaine. It's a lovely ball for Merim, to be fair. And Benzia splits the centre-backs and puts it past Petr Cech. And now it is Man City 1, Portsmouth 1. Coming up to half-time, still the 1-1, only the two highlights. But we do need to pick this up a bit if we're going to get all three points at the City of Manchester Stadium or the Etihad. I'm not quite sure if in this universe they've been sponsored by Abu Dhabi. But I'm going to give a bit of an aggressive... Not happy with that performance. Higuain's demotivated. He's on 6.4. Not having the best of games out there. But second half, hopefully we can see an improvement. Look at the stats. You'd say Man City are more likely to score. But this is not a game on stats. It's a game on goals. 70 minutes in, we're going to make some subs. Uh, Higuain on his debut. Not having the best of games out there. He's on 6.4. So we're going to bring Kesman on for him. And we'll swap Suarez and Kesman round to... Uh, complement each other who else Matty Taylor's on a 6.1 so I think Marcelo should come on for him as well and we'll go a bit more direct to try and find that winning goal take long kicks over the opposition's defence and we'll push everyone forward as well double sub a bit more direct can we find the winning goal 77 minutes throw in from Marcelo Find Suarez, the two subs linking up. Philippe Lahm, edge of the area. He puts it in the top corner. And we have found another goal. And it's our right back, Philippe Lahm, grabbing the goal. Marcelo and Suarez, the two subs, linking up together. Suarez crosses it. Well, there you go. And Lahm's on his own. No one's picking him up. And it's a lovely top corner goal from our right back. And now we've got a winner. Man City 1, Portsmouth 2. As we have another highlight. And it's Colo Torre to Nangola and our former player. Marim plays out wide to Van Damme. Finds Petrov. Man City keeping the ball. Crosses it. 
But we do clear it away only as far as Van Damme and Bozinov's there. If Bozinov or nine go and score, I'm not going to be happy. Coming up to full time, I think we've done enough to get all three points. But Marim to Van Damme. Petr Cech with a save. And that save could be worth two points. Because that will get us all three if we hang on off the back of this corner. Heads it over the bar. And we should see the final whistle go. And we have won our opening game against Manchester City. I'm going to say good win, boys. We were away from home. So we're not going to give too, uh, too harsh on them. And there we go. First win of the season. Confirmed. Portsmouth fortunate to beat Man City. Higuain, you didn't really play that well, if I'm being honest. But Philippe Lahm, I'm going to say you were superb today. So looking at that league table there, we are in fourth place as things stand. As we get one win from one. And I am conscious of how long this episode's going. So I think what we'll do is we will end the episode there. We will open up the next episode with a Champions League group stage draw. We will be in the top seeds as we are the league winners. Who are we going to get? And we will show our first Champions League games of the season. But leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We upload Project Pompey every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. And we've already won one trophy this year in the Community Shield. I will try and win another as we start our Champions League campaign. Thank you very much for watching.